No more sad boy in Flashpoint. Barry is loving his new world. Living at home like a loser and creepily stalking that poor girl. Flash is now Wally. Cisco is balling. Everyone's life is cake. Then Barry loses memory. Says I made a huge mistake. Yeah, reversing the death and returning to present where it's slightly different in that it's a bummer. Cisco is sad and Iris hates that and Wealthy is back but he's dumber. Ain't no one fussing and don't take too much to get everyone's butt back in gear though. Cause that's what it's like when your job is to write freaking 23 F's in a year, bro. Since we veered, Caitlin's mind been chopped and screwed with. Torn between being a genius and an angry AC unit. Malfoy's in the cast now when he blacks out, calling alchemy. And he uses the Philosopher's Stone in the biz they call that synergy. They have a mini fling, even Joe Gates again. Man, those romances are ramping up. And Cisco's girl lives on Earth 19, a nerdier excuse than Canada. Crossover action when the alien factions come to the city and invade and throw in an act for the Arrowverse cast can relive the past on Broadway. It wouldn't be Flash without trying to catch his feet are connected to Bear. He don't have metal bones, he just a Barry clone who don't put gel in his hair. And to stop the tragedy of Barry having an even worse due in the future, find an adorable physicist to build him a Speed Force bazooka. Get that alien jewel off the anthropomorphic shark. Then Freaky Friday switch, rip HR. Caitlin splits, kill Savitar. Mother manifests cause Speed Force needs a prisoner for reasons. And Barry's gotta go, so let's postpone that wedding till next season. Whew, the show goes off the rails, ain't no reason to hate it. Cause look deep inside, he still can't deny all the jobs that it created. Yo. It's nothing but checks in the bank, yo! With talent agents and execs to thank, so Weld at the steel mill, do grocery bag in While writers, props, and sound make that speed force bazooka happen And oh sure, that plot's got inconsistencies But 23 Fs, yo! That's job security in an industry that's fickle And jobs ain't guaranteed But let's get back to the recap Cause that's what y'all wanna see No more old Flash, just Kid Flash And he don't have the same essence Barry come back, his brain is all whack Like a beautiful mind that makes less sense Crop dust to the bustle of the magic a buttload of dark matter and gave random people a grab bag of powers at least none of them got any faster just stretchier like Ralphie here from her gum shoe to her gum dude cartoonishly quippy cause that's what was missing but that's what this show has come to a fun day job for Jay and Silent Bob and Trejo to make cameos and the Council of Wells just Kavanaugh workshopping his one man show and oh West Allen that ship will be making its next stop though they have the same chemistry as a damp rag and a wet mop they're not dry no one objects but with one small exception Nazis appear from another dimension and cross up a way and then Barry marries his sister yeah. Let's turn to the real threat, that guy in the chair with the armrest. No need for speed, no leather, just tweed. That's writers taking a hard life to casualty the same catastrophe that turned him into human Google. His master plan is to make people stupid. Hold on, is that right? No, that's what he says. Okay. Barry framed for the murder of DeVoe, so he goes to the joint, but he's up with Goldberg and attempts a beard. But DeVoe's mind swaps into way hotter folks, and his wife got the best part of the bargain here. Meanwhile, Blacksmith didn't really practice a British accent. And now Barry's out running flash time Ralph like none of this happened. Before Ralph's body, the plan is unfolding the telekinesis to stop him. And set Barry into the foe, beat him up all while keeping that baby from popping. And talk about stress, but we're out of this mess. The evil is back in remission. Then West Allen's future kid in with the catchphrase. This house is dead chan. Yeah, it's off the wall. This premise is insane. But with fun at its core and Teen Choice Awards, can anyone really complain? No. Set that sci-fi nonsense to the side. And realize that you're witnessing the grind. Jesse L. Martin and rocks his Broadway chops to keep cash in his wallet. Tom Kevin all had added the odds, but his kids gotta get through college. And stuff that editors key grips 80s people need employment. And why not take this wacky job where they get a little enjoyment? So air your grievances, write your tweets and blogs. As long as you keep watching, all these people keep their jobs. And that's not a bad thing. That was The Flash, seasons three and four, y'all. And this is Recap Reps. And hey, speaking of which, this is kind of my job, you know? I, I live in the booth and I need to pay rent, so y'all gotta keep watching. You know what I mean? Okay. What's up, y'all? Thanks for watching. If you wanna see another Flash video, click the box on the left. Or to see another dope video, click the box on the right. Well, we'll see you next week, unless something weird happens with a timeline that we don't know about until it actually happens. Warp's on out.